Hi, I'm Robin Worley, and in this video I'll show you how to print a large image across multiple pages using a little known feature in Affinity Photo. This is perfect if you don't have access to a large format printer, but still want to create big prints at home. You could even use it to print giant banners or wall hangings. We'll start with our image open in Affinity Photo's Photo Persona. Then go to the document menu and choose the resize document option. Here you can see the image currently measures 5000 pixels on the long edge. Let's change the units from pixels to inches to make the image size easier to understand. Now we can see that the image is almost 21 inches wide on the long edge. That's going to be far too big for an A4 sheet of paper, so we need to print it across multiple pages. Next, go to the File Print option in the Affinity Photo menu. This opens the Affinity Photo Print dialog. Here we can see a red overlay covering the image preview. This is telling us that the image is too large to fit the current paper size, which I have set to A4. So, how do we print this image across multiple pages? The answer is that we use an option in the Document Layout section. In the model drop down, you'll see it's set to single by default. This means it's trying to print a single image on a single sheet of paper. Click the drop down now and choose the tiled option. When we do this, the preview changes. Notice Affinity Photo has split the image across four pages, each showing a different part of the overall print. Each of these pages is displayed in the print dialog as a separate preview and we can scroll through them. If we were to print this now, we would be able to piece all four of these sheets together to recreate the full sized image. But there are a couple of extra settings that are worth knowing about when you're printing an image across multiple pages. When we have the tile option selected in the model dropdown, we also now see an overlap setting. This allows you to add a small overlap between each of the printed pages. This is extremely useful for trimming and aligning individual pages more easily. Right now it's set to zero pixels, meaning there's no overlap between each of the sheets. Let's enter a value of one centimeter instead. I'll also share a quick tip here. After entering the value, don't press the enter key to update the dialog. That's going to start the printing immediately. Instead, click into one of the other fields like the number of copies. Affinity will then convert your measurement into pixels and update the page preview. You'll see that there's now a one center overlap between each of the four pages and the overlap field has been converted to pixels. Now, what if something goes wrong with the print? Let's say that page three doesn't print properly for some reason. You don't want to have to reprint all four of the image pages if this happens. Fortunately, there's an easy solution. In the preview, just click the blue tick icon on the pages that you don't want to print. That's going to disable them so they're removed from the print job. Now we can click the print option and only page three will be printed. Easy. As you can see, Printing large images across multiple pages in Affinity Photo is simple and it's built into the standard print dialog. This is just one of the many features Affinity Photo offers for printing. If you want to go deeper into the subject, I'm currently developing a full course on printing fine art photos using Affinity Photo. You'll find a pre-registration link in the video description, or if the course has already launched, I'll include a link to that. But if you don't want to wait and you want to learn more about printing and soft proofing in Affinity Photo, watch this video next. Thanks for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe if you found this helpful. And you can also subscribe to my monthly newsletter on my website. I'll see you soon for another video.